Yo, the evening is coming and I still haven't made a beat today, which is not really good. Recently I've been trying to encourage myself a little bit more to make uh, more beats, but keep them a little bit simpler than usual. So today I thought I will make an epic uh, orchestral type of beat, so I will use lots of strings, brass, maybe flutes, I don't know. I want this to sound huge, I want this to be a little bit symphonic. Actually, I want this to be super symphonic um, and I want to combine it with some trap drums. Yep, uh, that's pretty much it, so let's get to work. Volta Beats production. The orchestral plugins that I will be using in this video were bought on PluginBoutique.com uh, on a Black Friday sale uh, like two years ago. So keep your eyes open uh, because they may appear this year and they were less than 10 bucks and they sound awesome. As always, if you want to support the channel without any extra cost to you, my affiliate link is in the description right below. So the tempo for today's beat will be somewhere around 140 BPM but we may change it higher or lower, depends on the, on the pattern we'll make. For those orchestral sounds, I'll be using orchestral companion brass, strings and woodwinds from Sunevox. My favorite ones are strings, so uh, let's make uh, a pattern with strings. That's how the plugin looks like. It takes a little bit of time to load, but trust me, it's definitely worth those uh, 10 seconds, because it sounds like that. <laughs> So, pretty nice as for a plugin that I got for less than 10 bucks. Okay, let's look for something uh, more impactful. Staccato. Yeah, that sounds like something I would like to hear. Staccato is the li like hitting really hard and for a shorter amount of time. Mm, I've changed the main sound for Ensemble Strings Spiccato, which is a really like a little bit quieter kind of sound, but also a lot more impactful. So let's try to record something with it. One, two, three, four. Okay, the next layer uh, will be um, some horns, something with, with uh, the brass plugin, and let's use staccato, so the most impactful one. Nice. Okay, so right now it sounds like that, but I think adding an octave higher uh, will do a nice job. Oh yeah, definitely. And now, just for sake of using all of these Sunevox plugins, by the way, it's not a sponsored video or something, I just have all those plugins and I thought I would make some kind of uh, review and let you know that you can have a nice quality uh, orchestral libraries for a pretty good price. Of course, when it's um, on discount, but I'm talking about myself. And here, as you can see, it's loading for like a few seconds. All of those samples are being loaded into your computer's uh, dynamic memory and bank. Perfect. Okay, so as you could hear, I run out of scale because this has only 16 pads and I can't really change like those without turning off uh, Reaper. It has its own software anyways. Sounds pretty nice. I think that's the moment where we can start arranging the drum pattern. But you gotta say, this sounds epic and those are only three instruments. Let's start from the hi-hats. Those are pretty complicated, so 
Now you will see it in like five seconds, but I have to sit here for five minutes and quantize this thing. Okay, let's put this away. Um, let's record the 808 now. As you can see here, I'm just using a regular uh, clean 808 and we'll figure out uh, how to color it afterwards. Okay, let's uh, use the kick pattern as the guide. As you can hear, this 808 is almost like a sub bass, but it definitely hits you right. Of course, if you are on the phone right now, you can't hear anything. Or maybe this glides just a little, but I don't think so. The subwoofer in my car will be happy with that. Let's use a little bit of saturation for this purpose. My favorite tool, Isotope Neutron 3 with its famous exciter. Oh yeah. It's just a little bit sharper, a little bit warmer, but this is the effect I am aiming for. I will also make a side chain only on the bass, so um, all the harmonics stay the same, no matter if the kick hits or not. Okay, I think I did what I wanted to. Of course, I would definitely add more symbols and effects and make it like 10 times more interesting, but I'm really hungry and I just need to get something to eat right now. And my studio fridge is empty because I haven't been making groceries for quite some time, so I gotta get eat something out. Have a good weekend, make something creative. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel with all the notifications so you won't miss any of the new upcoming videos. My name is Dominic. You've been watching Voto Beats and keep the good vibes alive.